In this episode of I Tried It, we're gonna test this side hustle that claims that we can make $7 per song uploaded. We're gonna talk about the process, we're gonna talk about my results, and if this is something that you should even spend your time on. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, as I mentioned, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at this side hustle. It claims that we can make $7 for every song that we listen to. I'm going to show you the exact process, saving you time there, and I'm going to reveal my results plus some other ways that you could actually make money with this method. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. This content creator says, if we take a look at my screen here, that we can make $7 for every song listened to. What he says that we should do, this is a, a 10 minute video, he says that we should go over to a website called freemusicarchive.org. We are going to find a popular song, most likely within the pop niche. You are going to download the song for free, and then you're gonna upload it into a website called fileupload.com, and then you're going to just spread this around the internet and magically make money. Now, I did this exact process with this song, as you can see here. This is the exact song that I used. And so let's let's spend some time talking about what this process actually entails. If we look at a website called SimilarWeb, it actually gives us an idea of, it gives us an idea of about how many people visit this website every single month. You can see 12.4 million visits and actually has a dramatic drop in, in March. Now, 12.4 million visits is a pretty good amount of, of visitors. But if we take a look at some of their requirements, one of the big things that pops out, it says file upload pays up to $7 per 1000 downloads depend on downloader location. So first things first, in order for you to achieve what the original content creator says that we can do, we need to have 1000 downloads, okay? The second thing that's kind of a red flag that stands out to me is that you can make $7 if you sign up for a premium account. Most people will sign up for the free account. And if you sign up for a free account, you'll make up to $6. So that's red flag number one. In order for you to make the maximum amount of money, you would need to actually spend some money up front. Now, if we look to upgrade to premium, you can see that the cost to upgrade to premium is between three and $44, it actually goes up to $139. So you would have to spend at least $3 to upgrade to premium in order to make the $7. Now, if we go back here, we can see that in order to make the $6 or $7, it has to be from developed countries, United States, Canada, Australia, United Kingdom. Everywhere else is going to be between two and three dollars. So those are all things that you need to be aware of if you're gonna try this method. Literally speaking, most people are going to be outside of these big four companies. And so it's going to be much more than just 1,000 downloads. If we just did the quick math, you would probably need closer to 3,000 to 5,000 downloads. Now these people actually have to download the product. They have to download the music basically sight unseen and you can make money. Now think about what this process entails. Someone has to go to this this website, fileuploader.com. They have to see a file that they want, basically sight unseen, trust the description, download it in order for you to get credit. Now think about that logically. Would you go to a website like this one? Would you elect to download a file that you don't really know what's included in it with the hopes of the file actually being what it is so that you can listen to music. There are literally many other ways that you could listen to music. You could go over to Spotify, you can go to Pandora, you could go to YouTube and type in your favorite song. So think about this logically. Is this something that a reasonable, rational person would do? Let's keep going. Now, ac according to this website, fileupload.com, they have over 628,000 members and, and their payout is $743,000. So that's, if we just did the math, that's about a dollar per person. Again, think about this logically. Is this something that people are going to do? And just to check my math here, because it's important to be accurate. So if we take the total number paid out and we divide it by that, that's about $1.18 per person. So for every person that has signed up, the average amount is $1.18. 
Now, if we take a look at this, you can see some of these are very low payouts, less than $7. There are very few that are actually more than $10. This one is $57. So many people are making less than a dollar with this method. Okay, so let's go over to my files and I'm going to show you exactly what you what someone would have to do in order to get this downloaded. As you can see on the screen, before a person can download, we have this pop up right here. We've got this pop up right here, which terrifies me. There was another pop up down here. Now I can't do anything other than click. I can either download flash, which I absolutely don't want to do from this type of website or I can press update, which is absolutely something that I don't wanna do from this website. Now, in order to get someone to download your file, they have to do this. They have to click on this. And as a person that doesn't claim to be a genius for being on the internet, I am smart enough to know not to click on this. So if we start putting the pieces together, if we think about this logically, ask yourself, would a normal rational human being go to a file, a website like fileupload.com when there are so many other options out there, they go to click on a file and they get all of these different pop-ups. Would you do this? Okay, don't even think about the rest of the world. Would you do this? And if the answer is yes, you're, you're lying to yourself, okay? So I don't even know where to click. I'm afraid to click on anything. I'm just gonna close the screen now. But Again, in order to, in order for someone to actually download this file, they have to jump through all of these hoops, which almost no one's going to do. Okay. Another problem with the original video is that they tell you to get traffic by going over to Facebook groups and joining a, a bunch of Facebook groups, which I did. And I spammed my, my link here. This is problematic yet again. People on Facebook don't just want links spammed to them. They want you to add value. They want you to actually solve a problem. If you are doing this method, you are not adding value. You're not solving problems. You are going to have to spam your link on multiple Facebook groups over many weeks, months, and even years before you get to 1,000 downloads. Okay, so again, I tried this method, and I'm sure you can tell by now that I didn't make a cent. I made absolutely no money because it is literally the, the worst way possible that you could try and make money. And the reason why I make these videos is because this video has 88,000 views. So 88,000 people found value from this content and they're going to try this method and they're going to fail miserably and they're going to get frustrated and they're going to try another shortcut or hack and they're going to fail again and they're not going to be successful with this type of, of, a way to make money online. And eventually they're going to get so frustrated. They're going to get so tired of trying to do this. They're going to give up. They're going to lose hope. And I hope to save somebody, a few people from trying these methods so that they can actually make money. Um, not everybody is trying to scam them on the internet. So this method doesn't work. Don't try it. Don't waste your time. Don't waste the money buying the premium upgrade thing. Don't do any of this. Don't go to that website. Don't go to fileupload.com. All of it's a complete waste of time. Don't do it. Okay, so now that that doesn't work, let's talk about some ways that you could actually make money. So what you could do is you, first thing, is you can actually start a podcast. If you enjoy listening to music, starting a music podcast is a great way to get started. Now, there are a bunch of different ways that you can monetize. You can monetize if you join the YouTube Partner Program, you need 1,000 followers and 4,000 watch hours. You can monetize with affiliate marketing. You could monetize by selling your own digital or physical products. You can monetize by selling merchandise. You can even monetize with brand deals and sponsorships. Now, everyone will say, getting started with a podcast is nearly impossible. Now, what I would do to help boost that, to help get traction as quickly as possible, is I would actually break down my entire podcast into mini clips and put them on TikTok and YouTube Shorts and start building a following and funnel people to maybe a mailing list or funnel people to your YouTube channel. Now, again, this is the best way to actually make money. If you love listening to music, there are millions of people that do. The best way to do it is, and, and not like a shortcut cheat sheet type of way, is to go out and create original content. 
if you want to, start a music podcast. Another thing you could do is listen, look for new music. So we can come over to Google and we could say um, new music released today. And go over to official charts like this. And we're going to just simply look at any new music that was uploaded today. And we can do a review on it. Miracle by Calvin Harris. I have no idea who these people are. So what we could do is listen to the song and give our opinion about it. So I'm just going to copy this. Now, the benefit of jumping on new music is that there isn't as much content out there as old music. So if we look at this, it appears that people are searching for this. And we can give our feedback. It was uploaded three weeks ago, 7.9 million views from the official video. So we could do a reaction video on this new song. This video was uploaded eight hours ago, 11,000 views. It looks like Calvin Harris keeps uploading the videos, but you can see here that people are looking for information on this new song or any new song, and you can do this too. Again, it's going to be something that you start and you build over time, but you can be successful creating content online. You're going to have to get past the frustration of creating content and nobody hearing you and nobody seeing you. In fact, if you look at my channel, in the very beginning, I was getting 20 views and most of those views were my wife and my family, okay? You have to keep creating. You have to dedicate yourself to the hard part so you can get to the point where you are actually making money online. It's not easy. I'm not going to tell you it's easy. It's simple. It's not easy. But the best way to make $7 per song is to listen to new songs, create reaction videos. You can even write blog posts if that's what you prefer, but go find new songs, create content about them, upload it to the world. Talk about it on a podcast, upload it to the world, and you'll be much more successful over a longer period of time. Now that you know that the $7 method absolutely will not work, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start for my free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners will help you plan and organize your affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money online. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to download your planners today. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.